Why not us? That is the question driving NC State as they chalk up uh, more victories over the weekend for both the men's and the women's teams. On Friday, the men beat Marquette and the women beat Stanford. Then yesterday, the women beat Tennessee and the men beat Duke. And the women beating Stanford and then Tennessee. Now both teams are in the Final Four. Which is pretty awesome mm -hmm. stuff. The women are going to be playing number one seed South Carolina on Friday. That'll be in Cleveland. And then on Saturday, the men are playing the number one seed Purdue in Phoenix. And those games are going to decide who makes it to the NCAA final round. CBS 17's Amalia Roy live from NC State now with how locals are making their way over to these historic games. Amalia, I, mind, uh, I imagine it's pricey. It is pricey, Angela, and people here are really excited to see their favorites in the Final Four. And seeing as how those games are a little bit far away, the diehard fans are finding a way to make it there. Wolfpack official site offers travel packages for the men's game, but they're not cheap. Packages start at more than $2,000 per person. For the women's, the site offers hotel options that can range from around $250 a night to more than $600. Many students are finding their own way to support their team. Two of my friends, um, they already got an Airbnb and plane tickets to go to Phoenix, so they're looking for student tickets to get there. Um, and, you know, it's a week, so plans got to be made quick. Now, I am on the lookout for any school sanctioned or discounted group trips because, again, they are some pricey tickets. And so if I find anything, we'll have those updates for you. Live from NC State, Amalia Roy, CBS 17 News. You know what? Play and pay now. Right. <laughs> pay later if you can. What do we got to do to make it there? Amalia, thanks so much. We appreciate it. So